I don't really know how my nan and a hot dog relate to each other, but it did. This is Delilah. Look at her little paws. But if you're in the market for a coat that makes you look like a rich aunt, but feels like you're in your dressing gown and you can go out in it, then this is the answer to all of our dreams. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the first vlog in a very long time. It has been just ages since I vlogged and I have so much to catch you guys up on. I'll explain why I haven't been vlogging in just a minute. But how are you guys doing? I hope we're all okay. I just want to start this video first of all by saying if you watched my last video which was an autumn winter styling haul, I styled up like six classic outfits. I want to just apologise massively for the fact I didn't put the links in that video. Basically, I did all the links and then I didn't save it, so it should have all gone live at the same time. And then it was only about like four days after the video went live, I went and read some of the comments on the video and everyone was like, why didn't you put the links, why didn't you put the links? And then I realised the links weren't in the video. So I am so, so sorry if you were after the links from that video, they now are all up and I apologise so much about that. Um, but it was just like a total mistake, I had done them. They just didn't go live with the video, which was really frustrating. But anyway, yeah, I know how annoying that is basically when people don't link stuff. So, I'm really sorry. Anyway, today is a new vlog and it is a very exciting one. Like, I can't explain to you how big of a deal today is and I feel like you're all going to love it. So, what a perfect time to vlog. I am actually going to chat to you guys in the kitchen because I need to make myself a little bit of food. Okay, I've set you up in the kitchen, by the way, ignore the fact I actually still have my pyjamas on, which has got a massive stain on it. I just did this, it's foundation. Really annoyed about that. These pyjamas are actually from Primark, but they look like the White Company. I got them back in the summer, but um, I actually want to go over and see if I can get another pair. Anyway, I've got my breakfast, <laughs> Pringles. I actually need to make some proper food, but in the meantime, I'm going to snack on these because I'm starving. So today is a massively exciting day, but actually before I talk about today, I want to just quickly talk about my hair. I had it done a week ago, tomorrow it was. I always go to the same place. I go to the chair in Canterbury, I fully recommend them. My best friend, Chantelle, does my hair there and she is a genius. Usually we paint on a fake root, but actually I've kept my normal root. I'm just gonna put my head down so you can see. And then put some more highlights through and some more highlights through the front of it. And I've also had like a bit chopped at the sides. I've kept my length so it's still really long, but I've had some chopped here just so when I blow dry it, it kind of is a little bit bouncy, I like it looks today. So what are we thinking? I really love it and I'm loving how like the blonde is framing my face a bit. Anyway, today is such an exciting day because today is the killing household gets a new family member. We are getting a puppy guys. We are getting a miniature Dachshund. I actually gave a few like clues over on my Instagram. It's really funny. I kind of did stories saying that something exciting was happening this week and I gave the clue of a hot dog and then the guesses were so funny. People said things like I'm starting a hot dog restaurant, like my family are starting a new hot dog restaurant, um, that my nan was coming down. I don't really know how my nan and a hot dog relate to each other but it did. People saw the hot dog as like an innuendo for a male's private part and we're like you're going on a date Freya you're getting the D <laughs> I can say that that's not happening unfortunately <laughs> but um even so I'm so much more excited about the fact that we are getting a puppy and we're getting her tonight many of you probably know that we had a little dog called Dudley who sadly passed away this summer he was in our family for 17 years and after he passed away my mum and dad were like we're not getting another dog like it's too much of a tie and obviously they're like a big commitment dogs and my mum and dad just didn't want the commitment of it which is fine my sister however is actually moving out tomorrow but she's staying in the same area as we live in we obviously all work together as well um so basically she is getting a puppy that is going to be her responsibility so it will obviously live with her but in the daytimes and stuff it will probably come up to our house and it's going to be like a family dog but just so my mum and dad don't have the tie of it hopefully that makes sense so we get her this evening everyone is absolutely buzzing and i thought today do you know what i'm going to vlog because well you can meet the new puppy with us and i feel like it will bring some joy to all of our lives when at the moment life is not all that joyful really is it so yeah, I'm super excited about it and 
I can't wait for you to meet her. I've also got today, I've got a Topshop order come through. I don't know whether to show you a Zara order as well, but maybe I might show you that in like another vlog. Um, but yeah, basically it's just gonna be a day at home, trying on stuff, and we're getting a puffy, which I can't believe. Talking of animals though, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll all know that our cat Chris went missing this, when, when did it happen now? It was last week, I can't remember, but anyway. So here is Christopher, after his real trial of a thing that happened to him. Should we tell everyone what happened, Chris? Would you like to tell everyone the story of where you disappeared to for a whole four days and had us all panicked? Well, Chris obviously doesn't want to talk about it, but I just need to quickly talk about it. So what happened was, Chris, since we got him, which was two years ago and my sister brought him back from Qatar, he has never not come home of an evening. Like sometimes he stays out late, don't get me wrong, but he always comes back on the dot for his dinner and that is pretty much it. Then it was last Tuesday it was, he didn't come home for his dinner. Then Wednesday morning we were all like, has anyone seen Chris? Didn't really start thinking too much of it until I think it was like Wednesday night and then we were like, this is really weird, like no one's seen him. Anyway, cut long story short, my sister, bless her, ended up, I mean, we both went out looking. It was Wednesday night, I think it was, calling him, whatever, obviously with no luck. Um, she then printed out posters. She phoned all the microchip companies. She phoned vets. She phoned delivery companies just in case he got into a van. She went to every single neighbor on all the roads like surrounding us um and just like no one had seen him she also of course put it all over facebook as everyone does nowadays when anything like that happens you put it on facebook because the power of social media is very powerful anyway at this point four days had passed and he just vanished like we did not know where he was no one had seen him we had no clues to anything and he had literally just vanished um and then this family had been out walking in like some local woodlands and they heard a cat in a tree so they went on the local facebook page and saw there was all like posts up for this missing cat they took a photo of him which i'll insert around here but he was so high up you could barely see him but as soon as we saw the photo we were like it's a hundred percent chris my sister obviously like rushed to the scene as you do and um, they did ring the fire brigade but the fire brigade said they didn't deal with stuff like cats stuck in trees anymore um you could ring the rspca but in the meantime we found some friends that live nearby who let us borrow a ladder my brother went up this tree he said it was so high i think he was like shitting himself and rescued the cat so it's true cats really do have nine lives and this one is a very lucky cat. I'd never seen a cat so happy to be home. The first thing he just ran to his bed, started doing this poor thing that he does when he's really happy, ate about 10 packets of food. I still can't get over the fact that he was stuck in a tree for four days. It was like torrential wind and rain. And at the same time, what a twat. Like honestly, how original is it for a cat to get stuck in a tree? But yeah, we were pretty beside ourselves. And my sister was blaming herself because she was going, he knows that we're getting a puppy. And he thinks it's because we're getting a puppy, he's ran away. <laughs> anyway, he might actually run away tonight when he realized there is actually a puppy coming. Um, but no, he was fine with Dudley, which was our old dog. So I'm sure he'll be fine with our new dog. So it's definitely true to say he is one lucky cat. And I do believe that cats really do have nine lives. Wow, I look so shiny. But by the way, my skin has been so much better since getting those hydrofacials and using those Zoe products. But I did actually break out. I don't know why. I've got a few breakouts on my face. Don't know what that's caused by. I actually have my Topshop stuff in front of me, which I need to try on. So let's take that upstairs and do that. Actually, before I do, I want to quickly show you these um, flowers. Do you remember these flowers that I've been putting in the back of my YouTube videos? These are meant to be saved until I move out. But guys, I actually can't even speak about my house situation right now because... It actually makes me emotional. But how nice they look out here. And actually in this room, which I never ever come in with you guys, but I wanted to show you these tables that my mum got because I love them. She picked them up from Danelm and they were like, weren't too expensive at all, but they matched. Do you remember I showed you this table that I often use in the back of my YouTube videos, like when I do styling hauls, perfectly. They match them really well. This room actually used to be our kids' playroom when we were younger. So... 
obviously nowadays it's just like a little sitting area but years ago we used to have all of our toys in here and stuff but now we kind of use it as like a tv room so we come in here to like watch films and stuff like that but yeah i just thought these tables looked really nice anyway let's get these top shop bags upstairs to where the rest of the mess is honestly guys the amount of stuff upstairs is actually a sick joke Okay, so let me show you guys what I picked up from Topshop. Do you know, it's always really crazy to me working with Topshop because when I was at college, every single day the Park and Road bus would stop outside the Topshop. So I used to park in a car park, get on the Park and Road bus, and then arrive outside Topshop is how I got into town. I used to walk through there every single morning. And then with the wages that I'd been paid the night before from working as a waitress at my parents' restaurant, I would go and buy whatever was new in that day at Topshop. I'd buy a jumper or a pair of jeans or something. And I feel like all the college girls that I danced with all know me for turning up every day with a Topshop bag. So the fact now I work with them is just really crazy and it also makes me super happy. And I think to myself, imagine if I told my 16 year old self that, like she would never believe me. Anyway, this is the first outfit. So the jumper I actually have on in a size medium. It's quite an oversized fit though. Like it's a cropped fit, but it's oversized at the same time. It was only 29.99, which I feel like is really good value for money. It's super soft material and it's this kind of like gorgeous brownie oat color, which is one of my fave colors of all time. I actually feel like it's going very nicely with my hair right now. I have then just layered with a white shirt. This is one of my favorite things to do in the winter. Like I love layering with a shirt. This one's actually from H&M. It's kind of old though i'll try and link either this one or something similar down below and then onto my trousers these are just the top shop jamie jeans i have these and i've been wearing them for so many years these are a fresh pair i always get a fresh pair in autumn winter because i like them to be like pure black they obviously wash out a little bit over time so i picked up a fresh pair and then my shoes are these faux leather sock boots obviously also from Topshop, and they're really comfy. They've got this kind of like wooden effect heel on them. I don't know if you can see that just there. Um, I actually saw these in store and then checked online and they had them online. And I feel like they look really nice with this outfit and just elongate your legs a little bit more to add some extra length. I always like wearing like black sock boots with black jeans because yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a con. It makes your legs look longer and skinnier. Just for size reference, I wear the Topshop Jamie jeans in a size 28 waist, which is a UK size 10 and 32 length leg. Next up is another piece of knitwear. And I can honestly say this jumper fits like a size kind of like small, maybe a medium. And it's actually a size large. It was 35.99. Even so, it is a gorgeous knit, and I feel like it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. But size-wise, I actually just can't get over how small it is. I thought this was going to be really nice and oversized, but it's definitely, definitely not. I've just kept on my Jamie jeans with it, and still got the same shoes on as well, just to show you the full outfit. Even though I love this jumper, it just wasn't the size I was expecting. I was expecting this to be really oversized, but... I mean, I do really like it, but you know how I feel about wearing kind of like tight clothes. Not that this is really tight, but I don't know. What do we think, guys? Do you like it? Oh my God, I adore this jacket. It is absolutely huge, as you can see, but I love things being massive. So this is actually a size 14. It's already an oversized fit. I would probably say, guys, just get your regular size. I've sized up two sizes. I think I might return it and get a size 12 because this is really, really big. But at the same time, I think it looks really cool. So the inside of it is this kind of like faux sheepskin kind of thing. And it's actually throughout the whole jacket, as you can see. And then it's a denim jacket. And I am a lover of a denim jacket, no matter what the season is. Like I wear them all year round. But I wanted one that was like more of a coat where this obviously is because it's got this lining inside it. I think it looks so cool. I've kept it on with the Jamie jeans, but then I've just put on this black hoodie, which is also from Topshop. Oh my God, what do we think? Do we think it's too big? I feel like you guys hate it when I wear oversized stuff. You'll probably be like, it's way too big, Freya. But I think it's cool. You know, like Hayley Bieber, I'm not saying I'm as cool as her, but she always wears oversized stuff. And I always think she looks sick. I don't know what we're thinking. The jacket was 65 99 and it is definitely my favorite thing so far. Oh my God, I... I love this outfit. I think it looks so, so cool. By the way, I wouldn't actually wear this with heels. I, I mean, you could wear it with heels, but I'd probably just wear it with like a pair of Converse, just really casual or something like that. Okay, so this next coat, I've actually seen so many girls on Instagram with this on and I loved it. What do you guys think? I feel like I really like it, 
but now it's on me i'm not a hundred percent sure so it was 79.99 it's kind of like faux leather with like faux sheep skin and it's also reversible which i'll show you in a minute i have this one in a size 12 so i sized up one size and i'm definitely glad i did like it doesn't fit too oversized but if it was any smaller i just feel like it was not too tight but i mean like we say you just know i like things to be bigger um yeah with this outfit actually with these black jeans and these boots i feel like it actually looks quite cool let me turn it round and show you how it's reversible so i've turned it inside out and this is the outcome i'm sorry but i feel like that is actually the coolest thing ever to be able to do that i much prefer it i think the other way around because well then it means all this fleecy stuff is on the inside but how cool is that to have like two coats in one i actually prefer the collar this way around though because it's got like the faux leather on it but i actually think i really like this what do you guys think let me know down below because I've actually got another coat to try on and I can't keep all three. So it's going to be between the denim one, this one and then the next one. Oh my goodness, this coat is unbelievable. Like, let me just get a little bit closer so you can see it. It is the softest faux fur, belted, almost like dressing gown coat. Oh my god, it's the most expensive one of the three. It's 89.99, I believe. I have this one in a size 12, so I sized up one size. But guys, it's honestly like a dressing gown. And I feel like it's the most bougiest kind of like it's so nice. It's honestly gorgeous. In real life, it's showing a little bit darker on camera. In real life, it's almost it's weird because in some lights it's like a grey colour. But then in other lights, it's almost like a chocolate brown. It is stunning. You guys don't even have to like answer this for me. This coat is being kept. It's unbelievable. Let me just put my hair back so I can just show you how big the collar is on it as well. And it's so soft. Like it is so soft. And so this is the belt that goes around it, which is super thick. I'll just undo it so you can see what the coat looks like without the belt kind of like done up. But this is what it's like. So it's got pockets at the side. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. This is the length of it on me as well. I always tell you guys, but I'm five foot three, just for reference. Um, and underneath, I've actually changed my trousers. I don't know if the trousers are really showing in this light, but they're almost like a croc effect legging. So, I mean, they're not leather, but they've got kind of a sheen on them. And they're really, really comfortable. But wow, guys, this coat... I just did it back up so I can just show you again. But if you're in the market for a coat that makes you look like a rich aunt, but feels like you're in your dressing gown and you can go out in it, then this is the answer to all of our dreams. <laughs> Next thing I picked up was this knitted dress. I actually have it in black as well, which I'll show you in a minute. I can't remember the exact price of this because I've actually already worn it and I've ripped out the label, but I think it was about 29 pounds. I have it on an size medium. Honestly, the softest dress and it goes with everything. I've just got it on with these nude boots, which I actually picked up from asos and i absolutely adore them like i love these kind of like half knee boots at the minute half knee boots you know like boots that come to your knee basically i think they look really cool this dress is actually quite a bit longer but as you can see i tucked it up and i'm going to show you guys a little secret on what i do this is a shoelace <laughs> so basically i got a shoelace and i just tie it at the back and then i pull this up slightly over the top so it covers the shoelace and so it makes the dress a little bit shorter and so it's not like a bag because let me show you without the shoelace on how long this is on me you see the shoelace makes all the difference guys <laughs> and this is the dress in black so it's exactly the same i've done the same thing and i've tied that shoelace around the middle and folded it up i also have this in a size medium fit is great lovely and soft these go perfectly like you could wear these with leather leggings if you wanted to and you didn't want your legs out you can layer with them on you can put them under coats and everything and they're just really handy they're also really good to wear around the house you know like our house for example is actually quite warm so i like to wear these with like no trousers on because i get snuggly but then i don't overheat with trousers does that make sense just to show you as well i've got these on with a pair of those like knee-high boots again these ones are also from asos um and yeah I really love this little look. I feel like this kind of look is actually my favourite at the moment. Wearing these boots with everything. Oh, and the last jacket I've got to show you from Topshop. I actually worn this one already. Like, this is already mine. I got it in my last Topshop order. Um, but it's this little teddy jacket. And it's the warmest, like, snuggliest thing ever. I picked it up in a size 12. Um, and it was about £55. It would look really nice with, like, a hoodie underneath or something. But honestly, it's just really warm and something that i love to wear out in this kind of weather because it's baltic at the moment um 
and yeah it's just really cute i look like a little teddy bear <laughs> Also, I wanted to show you guys this delivery. So it's from a brand called Fourth and Reckless. Haven't actually tried it on myself yet, but I've seen loads of photos of this collection. So this collection is by Sophia. Many of you may know her from Instagram. She is the coolest babe ever, honestly. Like, she dresses so sick. So this collection is all hers. So I'm actually gonna quickly try some bits on. Sorry about the mess in the background that you're probably about to see, but this dress is amazing i've done the shoelace trick as well this dress actually should be quite long but it just kind of looks a little bit ridiculous on me so i've done the shoelace trick and we're all good the quality of it is unbelievable like it feels so nice and then with these amazing boots on oh my god these boots are the coolest things ever so they come up like above your knee and with this dress, they just match so, so perfectly. I have to say that Fourth and Reckless, in collaboration with Sophia, you guys have absolutely smashed it. Oh my God, I've just realized. And look, the dress has little thumb holes. I love dresses or tops or anything that have these little holes you can put your thumb through. I'm actually obsessed with this outfit. So also from the same brand, same collection, is this blazer. I can't explain to you the quality of this stuff. Like, it is so nice. It's really thick. It just feels good, you know? It just feels like really, really good quality. And look at this blazer with these boots. Oh my god, this outfit. I feel like is so sick. This jacket also comes with like matching trousers. But um, I just really love it with these boots. I'm just obsessed with these boots. How cool is this? I have this jacket in a size 12, just for reference, guys. I've eaten an entire pot of Pringles today. Just want to prove? The whole pot. What's that inside? So yeah, diet's going great. Okay. Seth, come on, be on the vlog. Wow, Seth, come on. <laughs> you can't swear so much. Okay. Come well, on. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> this is my sister, guys. <laughs> this is Delilah's mum. <laughs> As you can tell, my sister really doesn't want to be on vlog. Honestly, I look so dishevelled. This morning I looked okay. And now I look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. Anyway, I'm going to get my nails done because on Saturday night, I am going to a brunch with some friends and I haven't had my nails done. And this is pretty much my only opportunity. I don't know if you can see how bad they are. I'm into this whole French tip though nowadays. I always get a French tip. So I'm off to the nail shop. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to get my toes done. And then back to meet the puppy. Well, hello everybody. It's been a little while since I last spoke to you. But... We actually have a new family member. So my sister has a new baby. <laughs> well, a fairy baby. And I'm actually on the way to go see her. I am a little bit glam because I'm actually going out with a couple of friends. So I've got myself all dressed up. But just before, I'm going to pop into my sister's so you can all meet little Delilah, who is a... I'll show you her in a minute. Um, I've actually seen her loads already. And I have tried to film, but there's always so many people around. Hopefully today I'll be able to film and properly introduce you all to the adorable bundle of fur. <laughs> I would like to formally introduce you to Delilah the miniature dashant isn't she the cutest thing you've ever seen in the world Lila do you want to say hello to everyone she's got one brown eye and one blue eye and she is a dappled dashant look how cute she is she's so playful like when you hold her she calms down a little bit but as soon as I put her down like watch how crazy she is by the way I'm at my sister's my sister's having her place done up at the moment um I'm actually technically Delilah's auntie so yeah isn't she the cutest thing ever you are so adorable watch how she plays she's actually crazy isn't she the most adorable pup you've ever seen in your life say hello Delilah Say hi, YouTube. Come on, then. <laughs> Come on. No, you're meant to bring it back, Delilah. Honestly, how cute is she? I actually can't deal. She knows she's really cute, though, don't you, missus? You know how cute you are. She likes the camera. By the way, guys, how lovely is my sister's living room? So this sofa is actually from Ikea. It's one of their, like, classic sofas. I've seen them in all different ways. So you can have, like, different modulars. Obviously, she's gone for this big corner sofa, which is honestly so comfy. I'm actually going to put Delilah here just so you can see how tiny Delilah really is. So just so you can see, <laughs> that's how big the sofa is compared to this little pup. Hello, she's got the waggliest tail ever, like she always wants to play. 
But my sister's new place looks so nice. She's really into like all her crystals and stuff. So she's got a salt lamp over here. And I love like the touch of green and these pillows. I think most things came from Danelm, but I will actually ask her. But I love how she's decorated everything. This is definitely the kind of vibe I'd go for, including this rug. Which my mum wasn't sure about apparently, but I think it goes amazingly with the sofa and everything. So Stephanie, if you ever watch my vlog, which you probably won't because she doesn't really like watching my vlogs, then you've done very well. So be prepared for lots of puppies, fam. <laughs> when Chris meets Delilah. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Chris's back's up. I'm a bit worried. Steph, shut the utility room door. <laughs> Steph, shut the utility. Uh oh. Oh no. Look how cute her little legs are. It's really tiring being that cute, isn't it? Look at her little paws. Oh. Delilah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's a big yawn. Oh, look at her little wrinkly neck. Yeah, you're in it. Do you want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> This one's sister goes. <laughs> Hello. Well, I'm just editing this vlog. I'm realizing I didn't kind of like wrap it up. And by the way, look at this face mask. It's from Kiko. But I feel like I really need a face mask on today. It's a little bit small for my face though. <laughs> it's meant to be Wonder Woman and it's kind of like peeling off as I'm talking. But I'm extremely hungover today, guys. Honestly, I went out last night for the first time in God, such a long time. I actually haven't had a drink since August. Well, about August. Um, like a proper drink. God, I drank way too much wine and I'm extremely hungover. But yeah, I just realised I didn't wrap this vlog up. So I just want to quickly say thank you so much for watching. <laughs> this is literally peeling off. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the new addition to the family. She's extremely cute and hopefully I'll be showing you lots of her. I hope you guys have had a lovely week. And I also hope you have a great week that's coming as well. Because tomorrow is Monday. Hopefully this vlog goes up in time. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and what on earth is this face mask doing? I'll see you in my next video guys. Lots of love. Bye.